I remember applying for the Rome Prize. And I'll never forget that Michael said, you bring the black granite garden, bring the model, because that is your puppy. You know, I was like, really? I will? Okay. So, of course, with all the models we made at Van Volkenberg's MVVA, you know, it was in this box. And I, and it's about this big, and I like open it, and the director goes, What, you bring your dog? And I was like, Yes. You know, I roll out the black granite garden. You know, what? So, anyway, I also had this instinctual gravitation towards the Etruscans. I just think they're like so cool. I hate the Romans. And the Etruscans, to me, you know, always had a smile on their face. I was like, oh, those guys, they must have it. But uh, I had an inkling about their site. So I went and, of course, a beautiful studio and a beautiful amount of freedom. Oh my gosh. You know, and I did rubbings, and I also did, um, instead of dirt drawings, I did tufa drawings. I would crush the tufa and adhere it, you know, to the page. And again, it was very, you know, formative. Of course, the director hated that I was doing those rubbings, you know, but I was like, they're like, he goes, where are your measured drawings? And I was like, uh, full scale, want to come upstairs? And to get a load of this, one day, the professor is walking down a path where I'm at this end, because it was near my room. And he's with Dan Kiley. And Michael said later, he's the professor in charge, he goes, it was like you saw God. And I said, I did. And Dan came up and saw my rubbings. And he did say, he goes, you're one of those intuitive, instinctual types, aren't you? I was like, yeah. He goes, okay, Blondie, let's go have a gin and tonic. So absolutely the most wonderful time. And at the Academy, there was a, a, a great crew, um, a few folks that I got to be really close with. One was the painter, Christopher Wool, and we used to run around on his motorino named Jane to different sites. And that was interesting because Christopher really wanted me to, you know, interpret the sites for him. You know, he's kind of like, what are we looking at? And he, you know, was really amazing. He had his friends come over, you know, Cindy Sherman and Robert Gober. And so it was a pretty intense group. It was wonderful. And Ross Anderson, the architect, Yvonne Levy, the Baroque scholar. I never thought I would be friends with a Baroque scholar, the ultimate, like, minimalist. But we had an exchange. She said, well, I'll show you the churches if you bring me to Etruscan sites. I said, okay, it's a deal. So, yeah, there, I think it was there that, right, you gain such an appreciation because you're cheek to jowl with all these other di disciplines, right? And there really isn't that much of an opportunity um, to have that happen. You know, you have to kind of work hard or you know to make that happen uh, there it was it was part of life you know and again I have to say that is where with all the different disciplines you know I had to talk about what landscape architecture is I gained strength you know individual strength you know as you know it's it's one thing to be working you know in office and it's great you could be getting support or whatever and you know but to to be there and doing my own work, you know, to be able to say that, uh, it was, uh, I just, I felt really strong 